Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today we're going to be starting a new series on Fallout 3, very similar to the one I did in Fallout New Vegas, where I'm going to be covering every single unique weapon that you can find around the wasteland. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, Fallout 3 came out like 6 or 7 billion years ago, so why are you doing videos on it now? Well, Fallout 3 is a fantastic game, and since Fallout 4 was announced just a little bit earlier, I'm hyped for it, you're hyped for it, don't pretend you're not, so we're going to be doing a lot of Fallout videos. Now, don't worry, I will still be uploading my regular videos like Dark Souls 2, Warframe, and all those other shenanigans, but these will be added into the schedule. And if you don't like them, you don't have to watch them, I'll still be uploading other videos, don't freak out. Anyways, let's get started with what is probably one of the most commonly acquired uh, unique weapons in Fallout 3, the Lincoln's Repeater. You can find this in the Museum of History. Once you go in, you'll be in a big room with a woolly mammoth, and to the left, you will have a doorway which leads to the Museum of History lower halls. You're going to find a lot of ghouls in here, and some turrets. Take those guys out, go to the top of the stairs, and there will be a door in the back left corner that leads to the offices. Once you go through the offices, again, a bunch of ghouls, some turrets. You're going to go all the way to the top, or not to the top floor, but up a flight of stairs. Then continue to the back of the room where there will be two prison doors you can go through. It's a very easy lock, so you should be able to get through easily. Then there will be a turret in that room. Again, lots of ghouls. Go up the stairs. At the top of the staircase, there's a hole in the wall. Go through the hole in the wall, and there will be a dead raider. Next to him will be a display case. Open that up, and you can grab Lincoln's repeater. Now, in the same area, you can also collect, uh, I believe, eight other artifacts of Lincoln's, and this comes into play because you can sell Lincoln's repeater and these other artifacts for a nice little profit to some other characters uh, that you can find later in the game. Anyways, the Lincoln's repeater is a rifle, the only rifle actually that uses 44 magnum rounds. It'll deal twice the amount of damage that the hunting rifle will do, and I believe it shoots a little bit faster, maybe that's just me being crazy. But anyways, it has a 2x critical multiplier, and you can do quite a lot of damage with this bad boy. Now, what makes this weapon so incredible is not only the damage, but it has zero spread. Perfect accuracy in pristine condition of this weapon, meaning that long range shots can be made easily. This has a massive clip with 15 shots being loaded into each clip and it can fire about 400 rounds before breaking from full condition. This weapon is amazing and it is a must have early on in the game. You can just stroll around, destroy people as you can see the long range shots always hit as long as you aim properly of course. <laughs> and I just love this weapon. Obviously this weapon is a reference to Abraham Lincoln but more specifically the Henry rifle that was given to Abraham Lincoln by the New Haven Arms Company in hopes that it would influence the purchase of their rifles for use in the American Civil War. A little bit of interesting factoid about history. There's not much else to say about this weapon but it is a fantastic gun that I recommend getting early on in the game. Now like I said the one big downside with this weapon is that it uses 44 mag Magnum rounds, uh, which just happen to be the rarest type of ammo in the entire game. If you don't have any of these and you need to acquire some ammo for the Lincoln's Repeater, head over to Rivet City and talk to Flack and Shrapnel. They will sell 44 Magnum ammo. Then just wait a few days, talk to them again, and you'll be able to buy some more. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.